Today we're going to talk about a very important thing, which is the present progressive or the present continuous in multi sorry, Okay? Whenever we take or study a tense, we have to know three things. If we need to study a tense or a time, we have to know three things. First thing is the yasid. Yasid means to use. Right? Why do we use that tense? Or what do we use it for? We use it to express what? Second thing is the form. The tequeen of the tense. How can we form a sentence in that tense? Third thing is the markers or the keywords in the words that are on the time. ايه الكلمات اللي اول ما اشوفها اعرف ان الجمله لازم تتحط في البريزنت سيمبل بريزنت كونتينوس او البريزنت بروجريسف اوكي ويل ذا بريزنت بروجريسف اكسبريسز سمثينج ذاتس هابينج رايت ناو اند از ستيل كونتينيو شيء بيحصل وما زال مستمر يعني فور اكزامبل وين اي سي وي ار هافينج ان انجلش كلاس رايت ناو اوكي وات داز ذس مين ده معناه ايه ذس مين ذات وي ار انسايد اور كلاس And the teacher is explaining the lesson, okay? And he is still explaining it. The حدث ما زال إيه مستمر. Another example. I'm writing a sentence. أنا بكتب الجملة. Right now, this means that I'm holding the pen and I'm writing and I'm still writing. I haven't finished yet. لسه ما خلصتش. The action is still إيه continue. When I say Muhammad is listening to his teacher, okay? What does this mean, okay? Is a Muhammad is listening and is still listening. Okay, he hasn't finished listening yet. The action is still a continuing. Again, we use the present progressive to express something that's continuing and is still continuing. Okay, time. Well, look at this sentence. Ahmed is flying to London on Monday. Is it a correct sentence or not? Okay. Is it a correct sentence or not? Ahmed is flying to London on Monday. One might say, sir, that's incorrect sentence. The gumla galat. Monday expresses the future. Okay? Monday represents the future. The biabar al mustab. Okay? And you're using a putting the sentence in the present progressive. Well, I can tell you that we can use the present progressive and I'm going to step them. This formula, how the present progressive in M or R plus an ing to do what to express something we have prepared for, something we have arranged for. عشان أعبر عن شيء معدل أو مترتب له to have it in the future. يعني this sentence means when I when I say Ahmed is flying to London on Monday, this means ده معناه إيه إن he's got the ticket. جاب التذكرة. He's packed his luggage. الشنطة بتاعته جاهزة. He's got the visa. التأشيرة جاهزة. يعني everything is arranged. كل شيء إيه. مترتب. So we can use the present for the progressive to express it. Okay. يبقى عندنا كده two uses for the present progressive. استخدامين لل present progressive. Number one to talk about something that's happening and is still continue. استخدام الثاني to talk about something that will happen in the future but it's planned for. It's arranged for. It's prepared for. مرتب له أو معدل له. Okay, time. Look at this sentence. What's the general rule of that? Right? What is the form of this tense? The time that we can use it. Look at this sentence. What's the general rule of that? And tell me what do you find in common? What is the common factor between the two? Right? See all. Have all the verbs have I N G. Right? Having, writing, listening. All verbs. And in ing, كل الأفعال عندي هنا فيها in. And all verbs are preceded by the present form of verb to be. وكل ال إيه الأفعال عندي I precede are preceded by the present form of verb to be. كلها بيسبق verb to be. أفهم من كده إن this sentence is formed by بيكون إزاي by using the present form of verb to be. اللي هي am or is or are. Plus I N G. Plus the I N G is the verb that follows I N G. Again, how can we form a sorry a sentence or a sentence in the present progressive? Ah, by using a the present form of verb to be the am or is or are plus I N G. The verb that follows I N G. Okay. Time. Before we do that, we have to know some notes. Let's start with some notes together. 
before adding, if you are going to add an ing, now we'll leave ing to a verb that ends in e, the verb will end in e, you have to omit it first. Let's machine it in the first. What's going to write? Ends in e. Okay? Before I add ing, let's in e. Ah, to omit it. As she will be in e. Fair as I drive. Okay? Before adding ing, I can omit in e. Then I'm driving without e. Okay? Here is another hint. Don't look at the bell. When we add ing to a verb that ends in a consonant preceded by one vowel, if the verb we're going to add ing to, now we'll find the other ing ends in a consonant, we take half a second off, preceded by a noun, we receive it as preceded by a vowel. Abu Harf e, Mutahari. We never e, we double the last letter. We die for half, and akhir. Then a better sit, then a. Sitting. Double T. Badal plan. Tibak. Planning. Double E. Mai. Alas. I have a verb that doesn't go with that rule. Andi fara yu tishma al qaad di. How al fara e? Listen. Also, also, listen ends in a consonant preceded by a vowel. Aram al fara listen in T. B half a second. Abu half one half harik. Ella ini wa dafshi e. Wa dafshi al half al akhir. Tibak. Listen in gan. Is there a problem? Any problem? We come to the list. Now we come to the third part. Let me give you the the goes in the third and how is it? The markers or the keywords, the words that can be used to express the present progressive. The first word is now or right now. Okay, at the moment, at the moment, at the time we are here right now. At present, but harder. Still, mazel. I'm still working. She's still sleeping. Okay. Had a mazel. Eh. Mustamer. Clock. Okay. Clock. Clock. Someone is coming. What's going on? There's no one there. Listen. 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 The phone is ringing. The telephone is ringing. Okay. Watch out. Hassan. A fast car is coming. When you warn someone, a messenger has the shocks. He can only eat. Watch out. Or eat. Look out. Watch out! Something is falling. Okay? Watch out! A car is coming. Again, now, at the moment, at present, still, look, listen, look out, or watch out. Is there a problem? Okay. Does all, or do all verbs take ing? No. Not all verbs take ing. Some verbs don't take ing. I'll give you examples of these words. Some verbs can take ing, and we can't add ing to these verbs. Among these verbs, the double verbs, they are verbs that express emotions or feeling. Emotions or feeling. Bad al afal al abar an e. Emotions or feelings like love, hate, like, dislike. Okay. For example, I can say, I like football, but I can say, I am liking football. Okay, this verb can be put in the progressive form. In fact, that we will start to say, "I'm not going to put it in the progressive form." Because it's the only one who can express what he's talking about. Continue. When I say I like football, I mean I like it and I still like it. صح؟ مش محتاج أضيف I N G. برضو verbs of perception أفعال الإدراك اللي بتعبر عن التفكير أو الإدراك. برض can can take I N G. For example, believe, understand, realize, expect, think. Okay? Senses. Verbs that represent senses or express senses. Like taste. What do you mean by taste? Ah, do my dog taste? Smell, feel. Okay, these express senses, and we can't add ing to them. When I say, I can say, the flower smells nice, but I can't say the flower. 
is smelling nice. Okay? Bardo, verb is of possession. Afal is upper and possession in the king. Like, have, own, possess, contain, belong to. Okay? I can say, I have a car. Bardo Shaul, I'm having a car. Okay? I own a villa. I can say I'm owning a villa. Okay? So, verbs of emotions or feeling, feelings, verbs of perception, verbs of senses, and verbs of possession can take ing. My fashion the fly ing. Okay? Is there a problem?